going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're returning to subscribe as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys uh a couple of days ago i talked about uh how the reappointment uh hearing and city council out there in the city of memphis shout out memphis for uh police chief cj davis where she was voted they voted against her staying police chief was overridden and uh the mayor came out in defense of her stood up there with her while she talked and took all the uh complaints from the people out there in memphis of why she shouldn't be uh chief police he went and tabled which means basically he folded up the uh order to uh, have her dismissed and put it to the side temporarily making her interim police chief with no search for a new chief. Hmm. So what's next for uh, Memphis's top cop? We'll talk about that and uh, a couple other things today in this video. But um, I'm going to show you an announcement that just was broke. And it's regarding uh, Tyree Nichols civil rights case, the $550 million civil suit against the city of Memphis. And uh, it's just been announced what the date is going to be. Check this out. Well, new at five, we now know the scheduled trial date for the federal civil lawsuit filed by the family of Tyree Nichols last year. That civil lawsuit filed by Nichols' mother, Robon Wells, against the city of Memphis is scheduled to start next January. The suit seeks $550 million in damages and blames Memphis police for Nichols' death and accuses MPD interim chief C.J. Davis of over-aggressive policing in the department's now disbanded Scorpion unit. All right, guys, that's the uh, news on the uh, upcoming civil lawsuit filed against the city of Memphis by Tyree Nichols' family. It goes out. It starts in January 2025. Now, later on this year, we'll see what comes out of the trial for the five officers, both on the federal level and on the state level, as far as what happens in the murder trial of Tyree Nichols, right? That'll be over and done with. Now you got to deal with this civil lawsuit. Now, you look at these pictures up here, you see Mayor Paul Young, the new mayor elect Paul Young, with a present chief of police, whether they say interim or not, C.J. Davis, I'm going to play this video where it talks about what does it mean now that she is interim uh, police chief and what's the difference between the two. Take a look at this. Pay close attention to the video, the body language, things that are said, and we'll come back and analyze it. I think later on, mainly this year, Paul uh, Young is going to regret the decision he made keeping C.J. Davis. Watch. Take a look. Now, the future of the Memphis police's top cop hangs in long term limbo after Mayor Paul Young decided to pull his appointment and make Chief C.J. Davis an interim police chief. But what does that mean and how long might this work? Uh, how this work around, I should say, by the mayor last? ABC 24's Leah Williams is here. So what now, Leah? Yeah, Richard Pepper, there is no set timeline or when, on when or if the city council will make that final vote on C.J. Davis's reappointment. In the meantime, she will have the same day to day task as a confirmed chief and remain one of the highest top cops, highest paid top cops in the country. In recent months, Memphians and Memphis City Council members have been divided on whether to reappoint now interim Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis. I think that she can do, uh, she, should be, she should be allowed to finish what she started. Or to move on to someone else. We have seen nothing but the rate go up, so some got to give. Davis's title changed, but nothing else did. Interim Chief Davis will have the same powers and still receive the same $280,000 salary, which is nearly $40,000 more than the New York City Police Department's commissioner, according to records. The only ones that could change that salary are the Memphis City Council. Only at a particular time, and that's doing budget. That, if that's an issue for people of Memphis, 
What's those concerns so that the council can take into consideration? Councilwoman Pearl Eva Walker believes Davis is leading the department down the right path. Walker wants Davis to take this time as interim to rebuild trust in the community and see through some of the initiatives that she started, like cracking down on those with a lengthy rap sheet. The repeat offender dashboard that will be ready real soon in the next week or so. I'm just looking forward to that and what it's gonna mean for our overall public safety initiatives. With the Memphis City Council holding off on a vote on Davis's reappointment Tuesday, it could take seven votes to get it back on the full council agenda. City Council Chairman J.B. Smiley told me that city council members will take their time before making any long-term decisions on MPD's top cop. Richard? Yeah, they're not going to rush into it. Thank you. All right, guys. <clears throat> this whole thing is smoke and mirrors. You can see it. Look at these pictures up here. They both being sworn in at a city council meeting. They both over here at Key Ken doing a city council meeting where her livelihood is on the line. He laughing with her. She duck lipping. Mm -hmm. Not a care in the world. This woman makes $280,000. That's surgeon money, ladies and gentlemen. A year. In the city with it crying, I've been going up since she'd been the top cop. Make it make sense. One of the biggest police brutality cases in the history of America just happened last year, this month, with Tyree Nichols. And she's still here. Now, I think this thing, whole thing, is going to backfire. I want you guys to pay attention in those uh, video I showed. Did you notice <clears throat> they said, oh, we supporters of C.J. Davis. Who did they show? A bunch of women. When they talked and showed the men, what did they say? Stuff that made sense. Hey, we need to see results. Memphis is getting worse and worse. What do other people say? The supporters, oh, she needs more time. She needs more time. I told you this thing is about fear and greed. A lot of people are fearful. Oh, well, if she doesn't, if she leaves in the, as the chief of police, who will take a case? Who will who, take her place? The uh, crime will just get worse and worse. It's going to do that anyway, whether she's there or not. So why not make the change? If I brought me an NFL team or a new team or I was put in charge of something and people weren't doing their job, or I took over a business and the general manager wasn't doing their job and keeping costs down, who goes first? He or she would. Why is she still here? Common sense. Greed. That's why this woman, whether you want to believe it or not, and this is other places around America, is put there in place has agreement with a lot of people that you don't even know about who stay in the shadows and she makes a lot of money for a lot of people that you don't know about that are above her. I can already guarantee you, Mayor Jim Strickman, once he was coming out of office, got with Paul Young and a few other people, sat in the room, Probably drink cognac and smoke cigars. Welcome him, him in his new uh, mayoral electoral uh, victory or soon to be victory and spoke primarily about why he is going to keep her whether he wanted to or not. Probably. I believe it. I believe that. It's just politics. The Game of Thrones and she know how to play it, baby. For real, she know how to play it. He falls right into the in the line. I'm a new mayor. I stand behind uh, C.J. Davis, regardless of anything. This whole thing is a slap in the face of the parents of Tyree Nichols and anybody else that has succumbed to the brutality of the Memphis PD under the watch, watchful eye of the top cap C.J. Davis. It is for real. I wonder how Paul Young felt. When he uh, seen that Tyree Nichols video, 
all them people in there supporting her. I wish they asked them questions about the Tyree Nichols video or the Tyree Nichols case of why she should stay after that in front of the parents of Tyree Nichols. I would love to see if their, their uh, answer changed and all of that rah rah shish boom ba stuff they was talking changed. I wouldn't be surprised if them supporters that was brought up in there in some way or another was either paid or benefit from C.J. Davis being there. Seriously. Just think about that. They had a lady in there that had a, a Catholic, uh, a black lady. She had like a Catholic priest thing around her neck. And she was up there speaking. I was like, I wonder if you would have spoke the same way you spoke with Tyree Nichols family saying right there. And they asked you a question about the Tyree Nichols case. And why she should stay after that. With the seven uh, more officers they got uh, decommissioned last week. I looked at a WREG uh, news uh, article where she spoke after this whole city council thing where they tabled this thing, her victory speech. She's sitting up there, Paul Young. He's smiling. See, oh, we're going to be, I do this the way I always do things. I go in an expedient manner and I move quick and I decisively and fast, and I strike quick, swiftly, and all this other stuff. You sure do. You sure do. Mayor standing right there with you. He can in city council meeting, people making valid points of why you shouldn't be here, why you shouldn't be making that amount of money you make. And he come, swoop in, save you. You still keep your same salary. And you ain't even the real chief of police, but you're making real chief of police money. Think about that. They took her off her title interim. They didn't cut that budget, that, that thing. Now, they mentioned, you know, it has to come up and it has to be brought up for them to even do anything. These people know this game. She'll continue to be the chief of police under a false title. Still do what she does till further notice. That's what they said. Oh, we'll put it off till further notice. This is why this is going to backfire and Paul Young is going to look dumb. Now, this happened under uh, Jim Strickland's when he was mayor. Now, he didn't left. Happened right at the tail end of him, his uh, term. He left. This trial and this year is a big year for Memphis, especially in the criminal justice uh, on the cri criminal justice front. Going to be a lot of reporters, a lot of people. CNN, all types of media down there. I'll be down there for the trials. Covering it. Paul Young, it's all going to fall on him. All that negative press in a city for a crime that shouldn't have been committed in any way going to fall on you. Because you had a chance to get her out of here and you didn't. Now these officers are going to go and they thrown up under the bus, get ground up, sent on their way. She'll still have a job. All the stuff that uh, was churned up before, the pain, the hurt, and all this other stuff with C.J. Davis is going to be brought right back up. It's going to be thrown on you as well as everybody else that's down there that's involved in it. And you wasn't even married at the time. Bad look for you. Your first year as mayor. You defending this. You defending this. They up there pledging, making a pledge. Tell the truth and all this other stuff. You think that it got anything to do with the honor of the people of the city of Memphis? They don't. It's about money and power. And they playing the game. I don't know who Paul Young is. Seems like he's a nice dude, but it's just something with him. I, I, I don't. The way he talk is something. It's something with him. I'm like, okay, maybe he's being told what to do, or maybe he's just that. It's almost like puppetry. I don't, I don't, I don't know him like that. So, I mean, that's a hard word to say, but it's just like, ain't no way I would have came in there. After all this stuff, and I'm trying to turn the city around, and I couldn't just be like, yo, boom, hey, we're going to let you go. First order of business, you've got to go, man. got to go. you got to step down. Seriously, we're not going to reappoint you. We're going to get you the fuck out of here. you got to go. And I put somebody else in that, in that place, and then, you know, people going to get mad or whatever. But if I'm the mayor and I want change, it's going to start at the top.
and goes with the top cop. That makes sense, right? Just the thing. People say they got common sense, but they don't use it. Then they make up these uh, crazy uh, red tape and all this other stuff or pass the buck of why they can and can't do nothing when they're in a position of power to change things themselves. Or they always come with a cautious approach. Ah, let's just give it time. Why? Why? A record speaks for itself. Look at your crime rate. Look at the crime rate. Oh, we want to focus. The new initiative is to focus on repeat offenders. Yeah, well, new offenders are coming up behind them, so that law don't apply to them. You'll never be able to stop crime anywhere because there will always be people that are opportunistic in trying to do things as far as a criminal aspect. But you can send a message. This is the wrong message to send. I think Paul Young is wrong. I think he's following behind instructions of what somebody else told him to do if he wants to stay safe and get boats. Will stay in the favor of certain people. I think a lot of people that was in there that was supporting her is brainwashed and don't know the real thing. That's just my opinion. But I do know it's messed up. She gets to stay. And this year, all of this stuff is dug up and the heat is on. It's going to be Paul Young in the uh, pot with her cooking away. And they're going to keep the, the same Question will come up. Why did you keep her? Because I don't think he got control of that. I think people above him told him, hey, this is how it's going to be. If you want to be mayor, boom, you got to dance to the tune of the drum that ain't yours. So all I'm saying, this whole thing will come back and bite. Bite him in his ass. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. The trial comes up this year. Let's see if everything I said come to fruition. See you in the next video. Take care.